This morning, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions received the Karamoja Iron Sheets case file from the Uganda Police Force for perusal and legal guidance. We are going to peruse the case file and guide the police on any possible charges. That is the types of offenses that may be preferred against whichever suspects we find uh, evidence against. On Monday, police confirmed that it had completed inquiries into the Karamoja Iron Sheets case. Last evening, Dr. Mary Goretti Chitutu, the Minister for Karamoja Affairs, who is at the center of the damaging multi-billion shilling scandal, was detained by a joint team from the police's Criminal Investigations Directorate and the State House Anti-Corruption Unit. While appearing before Parliament's Committee on Presidential Affairs, Chitutu refused to take oath and answer MPs' questions on her role in the donation of iron sheets and the alleged involvement of her relatives in selling of the materials. Can you take the oath and make no, your I... No, Honorable colleagues and Honorable Chair, I think I don't have any answer for today. Jacqueline Okui, the spokesperson of the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, says they are yet to determine if other government officials will also be charged. So if we find that there is evidence against more than one suspect, we will direct the police to prefer charges against those suspects. Although Okui is tight-lipped on the charges to be preferred against those found culpable, she confirms that Chitutu is still in police custody. I cannot tell you the charges right now because we haven't yet looked at the case file. But we are cognizant of the fact that this is a high public interest case that we are dealing with and therefore it needs to be prioritized. Before the scandal became public, Dr. Chitutu, who is the woman MP for Manafwa district, had an illustrious career as an academic, politician and environmentalist. She was appointed Minister for Karamoja Affairs in June 2021. The iron sheets were meant to help resettle Karimajong warriors to improve their livelihoods after they have been disarmed. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.